Sage 50. The first step to becoming a Sage 50 Pro is to get used to the navigation centers, so we'll go through those first. The Business Status Navigation Center is a great place to start your day. It's a snapshot of everything going on in your business, including your total revenue and vendors you need to pay. Customers and Sales displays accounts receivable information. This includes balances of how much your customers owe. Vendors and Purchases is where you enter purchase orders and payments to send to your suppliers. And Inventory and Services is where you set prices for your products and services and where you can track your shipments. From Employees and Payroll, you can process employee paychecks and record time and expenses. And from Banking, you can analyze cash flow, set up budgets, and record bank deposits. If you plan to have multiple people using Sage 50, set up your users in the System Navigation Center. You can also back up your company information here as well. And in case you didn't know, you'll also receive some assistance when you enter information. For example, when entering a new customer, you can roll over certain fields to get useful tips. The Setup Advisor also gives you a detailed description with helpful hints. Another feature is Sage Advisor, which helps you work more efficiently. And if you're ever just looking for the Help section, click the Help icon or use F1 on your keyboard. These are the first few steps to getting the most out of Sage 50. If you ever want additional help, visit the Knowledge Base in the Sage 50 Resource Center. Be sure to check out other resources Sage has to offer, like the Sage 50 Community, Training, and more. If you want more help getting started, check out these links.